I am going to show you how to tie the easiest big loopy bow. You're going to need two rolls of 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire, and you're going to cut five strips of one color at 24 inches and four strips of the other color at 24 inches. Now comes the fun part. Just take a strip of ribbon, fold it about halfway down, then you're going to pinch it across, and this loop measures about six inches. And notice where I have it pinched together with my hand, I've left a little bit of ribbon below my fingers so the loop does not pull out. Now I'm taking my second color of ribbon, folding it about halfway down, just going to gather it, pinch it across, pinch my ribbon to add it to my left hand. You can hold in your right hand if you're more comfortable. And I made these loops a little bit smaller, five and a half inch loops with a red and white striped ribbon. Same steps, take your ribbon, fold it about halfway down, pinch it together, add it to your left hand or right, and you can alternate colors and kind of place the loops um, where they're not stacked one on top of the other, that way it's easier to fluff and shape at the end, but you're just going to follow these same steps. So just fold it about halfway down, pinch it together, add it to your hand. Now if you want longer tails, then cut your ribbon strips longer than 24 inches. That way you'll have more tails hanging down. And you can do this with one color, two colors, three colors. And if you want a bigger, fuller bow, cut more than nine strips of ribbon. So I'm just following the same steps each time. And this will make a beautiful, big size bow that's perfect for a wreath, a garland, a door swag, like to put on a mailbox. These bows are perfect for your craft projects and your DIYs. I made this bow for a grapevine patriotic wreath, which you'll see at the end, and it turned out beautiful. So you'll want to choose ribbon that has wire in it because the loops will stand up, the bow just holds its shape better, and it's easier to work with. So I've got one more strip to do, so same steps, and it's a lot of ribbon to hold, I know. You're also going to need a zip tie to wrap it nice and tight around your loops. So I'm taking a zip tie going just above my fingers, placing the zip tie around all of the loops, and going to zip tie it nice and tight. Now I'm going to cut off the extra part of the zip tie, and I believe that was a six inch zip tie. And now I'm just cutting the tails at a slant, or you can dovetail them. And so for these, I just chose to cut them at an angle, um, but you could fold it in half with the edges to the left side, go to the folded side, cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty V on the ends. Now I'm just holding on to the bow, taking my hand, opening up, each loop and shaping my bow. So I try to spread it out and then with the tails I try to fan them out or spread them out too. And I like to have a loop in the center of the bow. Just be patient. Sometimes it takes a little time and practice to get your bows just like you want, but I think this one turns out really pretty, especially on this patriotic wreath. And if you haven't seen the patriotic wreath tutorial, I can link that tutorial for you in the description box. So here I'm just spreading out my tails, and I also have a bow tutorial playlist. There's lots of different ways to tie bows, lots of different styles of bows, shapes, and sizes. So I can link that playlist for you in the description box too. But here's how you make a big loopy bow. And now to attach it to my wreath, I'm going to take some 20 gauge floral wire, thread it underneath that zip tie, and that way I can easily attach my bow to my grapevine wreath or whatever craft project you're working on. I usually pick up my floral wire at Walmart. It comes in a little package for a little over a dollar, but you can buy floral wire at Dollar Tree, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, places like that. So I'm just threading it underneath the zip tie, and that way I can take my wires, thread them through the mesh, thread them through the grapevine wreath, give them a few twists on the back, 
cut them off short and fold them down. So guys, that's it. You'll have to fluff and shape your loops again. Make sure your tails are going in the direction that you want them. And um, that's it. Just a little patience and practice. And that should help you to make a beautiful bow for all of your DIYs. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Share this tutorial with a friend, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. It is free to subscribe. I share lots of budget-friendly DIYs, shop with me videos, shopping hauls, and decorating videos. Thank you so much for watching.